Hello, my name is Julia and I'm a junior in cybersecurity at Applied Technology High School. Today, we're gonna to be asking our students some questions that you may have as you apply to ATHS. First, let's begin by introducing our panel. Hello, I'm Lily. I'm in 11th grade and I'm in mechatronics. Hey, I'm Livingston. I'm an 11th grader in health professions. Hi, I'm Khalees. I'm an 11th grader in health professions. Hi, I'm Rima. I'm a 10th grader in cybersecurity. Hello, I'm Caleb and I'm an 11th grader in cybersecurity. How did you all hear about ATHS? I initially heard about ATHS when I was applying to Bergen Tech in Teterboro for aerospace engineering, and I saw that there was a checkbox option to also send my application here. My grandfather worked up at the college that ATHS is on and actually um, directed me to apply for ATHS. Yeah, my guidance counselor for my district actually recommended me to this school and I, I really liked it, so I applied. Like Lily, I heard about it when I was applying to Bergen Tech and BCA. Similar to Khalees, I also learned about it from my guidance counselor. The Bergen County Technical Schools have a lot of very interesting programs to choose from. Can you tell me a little bit about what's so special about ETHS that, wanted, that you wanted to come here? I was initially drawn to the mechatronics program here because it combines hardware and software engineering. So if you don't know what specialized field you want to go in with engineering, you can get a taste of all of them and see which one you prefer. Overall, ATHS offers a dual enrollment program because because we are on the Bergen Community College campus, which means that you would get to take college classes at the same time that you're taking your high school classes. And although it is a challenge, it is it's a well welcome challenge, I guess you could call it, because it affords you a lot of opportunities such as graduating with your associate's degree, college credits, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what attracted me to apply tech is the specified classes in my cybersecurity program. We have a lot of opportunities and we have really interesting classes that other schools just don't have. So I thought it was really, really cool that we had this opportunity. And kind of just to touch back on what Lily and Rima said, with I believe all of the majors, all of the your college classes and your high school classes, they give you a broad scope to look forward to for your specified major. So even if you're going into only health or only cybersecurity, there's so many individual topics that you'll be learning about throughout your time here that going into college or going into the workforce, you'll be well prepared to find your suitable career. Yeah. There are about 90-ish kids per grade here at ATHS. Can you guys tell me a little bit about what's it like being in a small school? A school with not that many people, um, 90, about like Julia said. I would say that it's, it's, really, it's a really cool experience and you get to make friends for a lifetime. And not only that, you have like a, like Livingston has said before, you, you have like your own academic family. And honestly, it's a really good support system that we also have here. Like, Places like where you can go, um, you can go to like Missouli and our guidance counselors. It's it's really nice and it's a welcoming environment. Just for the record, Missouli is our anti-bullying specialist. She's yes. amazing. So ATHS is unique in the fact that we sit on the campus of Bergen Community College. All of our students here are dual enrolled in the high school and the college at the same time. Can you tell me a little bit about what's it like taking college classes while still in high school? Or you want to, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, with the dual enrollment, taking your college and high school classes at the same time, Caleb actually made a good connection in that they sort of merge. So whichever whichever um, major you found yourself in or that you applied for, though the high school classes and your college classes coincide with that career. So if you have so like let's say our Dr. Costella, who you'll have for your freshman and sophomore year. He'll do healthcare simulations with you, but at the same time, you'll be taking biology and things of that nature, so they, they merge. And it's also kind of like an academic bragging right, in a sense, that you are accepting that challenge, but you also get to say, hey, I did this. Like that, That's an amazing feat. Yeah. And one thing I'd like to add on is that ATHS is really good at preparing you for later in life, like especially since, you know, when you apply here, you're you're pretty much driving your career forward. And I really like how here they offer you so much support and networking opportunities to later on go back to when you want to have your own career in that field. Yeah, adding on to what, what Khalees said, being a student at both schools gives you double the set of resources. So for example, you can get peer tutoring at the high school or you can go to the tutoring center at the college. Both give you help and both help you succeed in this path.
Can you tell me a little bit about the athletic program here at ATHS? Yeah, so the athletic program is awesome. Uh, I really like it. And But one thing that's unique about us is that we're under the district for the Bergen Technical Schools. So that means we're merging with Teterboro campus, with the Paramus campus, well, the other one. And um, we're also merging with BCA. So with that being said, it can be kind of intimidating having a bigger pool of people for the tryouts, specifically for sports like soccer, basketball, baseball, and softball. Um, they're pretty competitive when it comes to that aspect, but it's, it's a really great experience and I definitely recommend going into the athletic program. Yeah, me and Khalees both play soccer. Yes. Um, and I would say that it's so much fun playing with other people from other schools. You get to know a lot of people. I've met some of my closest friends through our sports uh, program. Um, you really build a community on the team. We've been together since freshman year. Even though it hasn't been that long, we're together every day. So it's like our own little family on the soccer team. Yeah. Um, and there are a lot of opportunities for any sport that you want to play. I'd also like to add that I used to play fencing for Bergen Tech, and we have sports here like fencing and bowling, which do not require tryouts. As in, if you try out, you're automatically on the team which helps remove that competitive aspect if you want to join a sports team, but you're worried about not getting in. Yeah. Um, I'd like to add on, girls lacrosse is also like mm -hmm. fencing. So there are a lot of extracurriculars available here at ATH Dress. Can you share your experience that you've had in some of the extracurriculars that you're in? So I'm in a lot of the clubs here. Some of them, for example, are Model UN, Technology Student Association, Gay Straight Alliance, and Mathletes. I think with Molly UN especially, you can earn scholarship opportunities and also allows you to connect with your fellow students and work with your teachers to help cultivate an environment where you can learn outside of school. And we also have unique clubs here, such as AT Talks. Yeah, AT Talks is our student-run talk show where we talk about school news, pop culture, and more. And for me, joining AT Talks has really helped me grow a sense of work ethic and independence since I'm working with my classmates every week to get a new episode out. Um, I'd also like to mention, um, I don't have that many club accolades, but I am in debate and I would like to mention that our debate, who also runs here because well, Miss Yassine, the director for both clubs, over the course, I'm in my junior year now, when I started out in debate in freshman year, I had no idea who anybody was, I didn't know the teachers, I didn't know the students, I was completely lost, despite how small the school is still. And joining those extracurriculars and getting to know your teachers and classmates outside of your education is when I say like one of the best things about ACHS it is one of the best things like you you still have that respect for your teachers as authority figures but you almost feel like you can go to them as almost like a friend and tell them if you need help tell them if you have something going on and then they can send you to the guidance counselors they may help you it's 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 great we have three majors here at Applied Tech engineering, health professions, and cybersecurity. Lily and Roma, can you tell me a little bit about what's it like being a woman in STEM? So when you're a woman in a non-traditional field, like for example, I'm in mechatronics, there's often sometimes gender disparities, like with Technology Student Association, where there can be more men than women, and that can sometimes lead to some issues. But at our school, we have a lot of support services here with the guidance counselors, and like Livingston said with Missouli, who will always be willing to help you get to wherever you need to go. Yeah, definitely. I think our school has so many opportunities for women in STEM. It's not a very big issue, I think, in our school because we have so many different outlets for women who want, or girls in our school, who want to pursue more into technology. We have the Young Women in Leadership Conference every year where you can explore and talk to women in STEM careers. And we have the club, Women in STEM, where you can do your own research and talk to other women who have these opportunities too. Thank you all so much for watching our video. For more information, go to the admissions page on bergen.org. Good luck with your application and we hope to see you all next year. <laughs>